what's up? I'm Robert from BBTV, and I'm backstage at Warp Tour 2010 with the Mice and Men. What's up, guys? What up? Uh, yo, what's up? So you guys just came out with a new album in March. What's been the fan response to that? Great so far. Good. Kid, it seems like kids really dig, really dig it, dug it, you dig. Yeah, we were on tour you when dig. it came out, too, so it gave people, you know, an opportunity to watch the live show and then buy the record when they wanted. So, so we've been on tour pretty much since the record came out. Yeah, it was cool. We, we were excited for any kind of response, you know. It was, we've been working really hard to get the album out, so we were just really, really proud of what we did and just grateful to everyone who picked it up, so thank you. If one person bought it, I would have been happy, so yeah, we did. So have you guys started working on a video for that? The one's released so far, Second in Sebring, which it seemed, it's an awesome video done by Spencer, and kids are loving it, so. Spencer Nicholson. And, and what's the other video for? Uh, those in Glass Houses. I don't know what we're going to do with that one, because, um, it's Austin's got people not in the anymore. band anymore, so we're probably gonna have to, um, you know, we'll probably play around with some, maybe a different song or redo that video. But yeah, so the first one's out, and it was on Headbangers Ball. Apparently, it's in like journeys and stuff like that around. So that's pretty cool. So you guys have a new singer. Uh, what's your relationship with Austin? Separated. Yeah, there. <laughs> there is no relationship. What's the relationship status. Yeah, divorce. Got cut off. Yeah. <laughs> Could you give us some details about that breakup? Um, well, we had. He wasn't able to tour because of the heart condition that he had that we knew about when he was, uh, when he was in the band, but uh, or when, like when we all first kind of started the band, and um, so he couldn't do the tour, so we got Jerry to fill in. Thankfully, he helped us out. And once we got through those tours, we we kind of realized that Jerry was the dude. So. It was a better fit. Yeah, it was like a better attitude, fit. our friendship, relationship, and stuff. Everybody really got along better with Jerry, and you know we really f feel like this is how the band should be. It felt really comfortable. It felt right, and we're really happy with you know how things eventuated. wasn't ideal, but you know fate gets you to where you're supposed to go, and that's what happened. So it's cool. So you guys are Warp Virgins. What are you guys looking forward to? killer shows every day <laughs> you know the first two have been awesome and um, we played against like a bunch of bigger bands in our same genre today and it didn't damage our crowd at all so that was like a big thing when ba two bands that are like the same kind of they uh, you know it's either one or the other and with with you with with mo most of the fans today was pretty good though so we'll see what's up so is this your first time having a bus yeah how do you As, like that this band, yeah how do you Jerry's like had the What's luxury the of being in buses before. Yeah. He's been in a, another band that, that was in buses, so he's very lucky, but we haven't. Yeah. So this is our first experience. It's been friggin' awesome. It's yeah, so for good. Sure. But it's crazy because for some reason they put a photo of our faces on the side of the bus. That's pretty <laughs> funny. Yep. But it's all fun, yeah. you know, like we're grateful. We the monster hooked it up and music saves lives. So yeah, we're just stoked that we're able to be in a bus. It's a lot more comfortable and it's fun. We awesome. don't have to drive. It's great. So uh, we heard Shaylee, you hurt your back a little bit. What happened? Yeah. Um. Funny story. I was just having some fun and I picked somebody up and I fell back because I lost my balance and I landed on <laughs> which I'm thinking this is what it is. I fell on my, you know, my lower tailbone and totally disaligned my hips and pushed and pinched a nerve, which made my, which is still now it's still affecting me. It, totally back again but my left leg is a half inch taller than my right and it's also making my back actually tweaked in the middle like this because everything's just messed up and it's trying to compensate so it's just screwing shit up every day but you know it's warped tour I gotta tough it out for this one I don't care whatever it takes you know is there Blowfish. anything else you guys would like Blowfish. to say to your fans before we take off Blowfish love you Blowfish. a lot thank you Blowfish. thank you for the support this warp tour is freaking awesome it's a dream come true the crowds are awesome, they come out, and it, it feels good to know that, that people enjoy the music that we enjoy making. Yeah, so, we wouldn't be here if it wasn't yeah. for you guys buying our CD, coming out to see our shows, and showing the people that pick the bands for Warp Tour, you know, that, that we have the support of the fans behind us, because that's what we get picked based on, so thank you guys so much. We couldn't be here without you, and, and we're having a great time, so thank you. You dig, Hootie. Yeti. Thank you guys Yeti. very much for the interview. Good luck on the tour. Hootie. What's up? I'm Philip Nancela. What's up? I'm Shaley Bourget. Hello, I'm Jackson Hall. I am Jerry Roush. And I'm Tino. And we are right, of Mice and Men and BVTV Ross. Yeah.
Yeti. 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 Yeti.